know. It's not made for anything right now. Jeez. What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today I take my Gen 8, push it beyond its boundaries. Stay tuned. <laughs> Can it? Yeah. Uh, a little bit there. Well, it was before, not so much now. It's not really made for wheelies. Oh no, it's not made for anything right now. Jeez. All right guys, so you probably wanna know the carnage of what happened here. Um, so lots of jumps, as you can see, slow motions, whatever, jumping things, jumping the Gen 8. I'm sorry, the Gen, I was jumping the Gen 8 over the Gen 7. Anyway, you can see parts that got ripped out, even like the shock piece that's there, that all got ripped out as well. And let's look in here. I think I'm mix, missing the axle, focus. I got the spring, but yeah, I think there's supposed to be a, a drive shaft in there somewhere. So that came out, and I was like, okay, well, that's gone. I had, uh, there was a kid that was there, and he was wanting to know, like, hey, man, can I do wheelies? And I was like, all right, well, let's try it and see what happens. But, uh, hey, I broke the bumper off. There were some pretty nasty landings, too, so it jacked up the back a little bit there. But uh, you know what? This thing, this thing is obvious. You guys already know. that They're like, whoa, man, you really put that thing through the test. Uh, yeah, this thing isn't designed for what I just did, and those tires are huge. And you're like, why don't you keep the other tires? I'm sure those things look funky on there. But anyway, uh, these are from the uh, Habao Hyper SS. These are one eighth buggy tires on here. So these things were really flexing this poor, uh, these poor little portal axles, what have you, on it. So that definitely leaded to things breaking a lot easier than if I would have had those smaller tires on there, it wouldn't have been as bad. But I was jumping anyhow, nonetheless. Also, when I was doing some little donuts, I noticed like, what's up with my, this wheel is just not doing anything. So I was like, oh, I lost something there. So there's gonna be other things I need to fix on it too, but you know, at the end of the day, it put a big smile on my face. I had a lot of fun with this thing. So. It's not, you know what? It's not anything on Red Cat. It's definitely on me. I pushed the boundaries on this RC vehicle and I smiled all the way doing it. So, anyway, until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching. Also, check out omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. You guys take care later.